So last time we were trying some, but they were not that good. Okay, so here's uh, white. And here is uh, red, it's kind of pink. And maybe I can hide it here. And how about yellow? Green. Green should be good. Green is a popular color these days. Uh, but actually, I can leave a couple of them here. And uh, so we were looking at uh, probabilistic uh, methods. And are what uh, makes this field uh, interesting and also challenging because uh, uh, essentially uh, when you talk about uh, field of uh, fault tolerance uh, and in fact uh, uh, probability of course is applied in uh, many different disciplines in computer science performance evaluation that is uh, probabilistic uh, if you want to look at network performance, uh, that's probabilistic. Uh, so, um, so probabilistic that is the nature of uh, things. And the last time I was, I defined the idea of probability, and I had a simple definition of probability. Now, if you have taken a formal course in probability theory, you have seen uh, more formal definitions. Uh, probability and we talked about conditional probability uh, we looked at independent events and disjointness of events Disjointness is something that allows you to break an event into pieces, which is often needed for some calculations. You break an event into pieces and figure out the probability of each separate piece. And we were talking about uh, random variables. And the last time I was uh, mentioning about the density function, uh, which we often uh, indicate this way. And then there is a discrete version of the same thing. And then we have distribution function probability distribution function. And that is often referred to as fx. I should mention that uh, sometimes you want to uh, specifically say that this is a distribution function of a particular uh, random variable. So sometimes here you will say the name of the random variable. So let us say the random variable happens to be x. 
sometimes you will see a subscript x which will indicate the random variable and this indicates a specific value so sometimes you will see often the random variable involved is implied so there is no need to specify this this is which random variable we are talking about for this uh, distribution function and we were talking about the expected value or the mean value which uh, we often indicate this way and uh, so let us take a look at a few distributions and uh, oh one more thing I should mention that if you take a density function and add it up for all possible values that is going to be 1. So basically the idea is that probability if you consider all possible options the total probability is 1 and if you take one particular piece of it one particular outcome then its probability is going to be somewhere between 0 and 1 and similarly if you are considering discrete situation then if you add them up again you should get 1. Now let us look at some major distributions And let us start with some uh, discrete ones. So we are going to look at a couple of uh, discrete distributions and a couple of uh, continuous uh, distributions. Now we are going to see basically what uh, we need for our uh, work and we are not going to uh, uh, go into the whole lot of uh, mathematics because that uh, stuff you have seen or it is available somewhere in case you have forgotten it. So we will start with a binomial distribution. Binomial distribution. Now this is one of the easiest uh, thing. There's an even there's some even and the outcome is uh, binary. So that means it is either success, whatever that is, or failure, whatever that represents. So maybe you are tossing a coin and perhaps had a success and tail is failure, whatever. Then uh, there is one uh, uh, expression that we need often is uh, probability of are successes in n trials. Let's move here. Probability of our uh, successes in n trials. Let us uh, obtain an expression for this and let us assume that the probability of uh, one success is uh, lowercase p. Then what is the probability if you try it uh, r times? If you try it n times, r times out of n it is going to be a success and we could uh, 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 indicate it this way uh, uh, let's assume that this is the probability this is actually a discrete probability so I should uh, that's this okay let me use f for that now here I will have a factor which is interesting 
Okay, you tried it uh, n times. P times it was a success. So, and assume that each trial is statistically independent. Then here you have P is to R. And then a failure in n minus r situations, right? And now, if you try it, you can get uh, different uh, uh, sequences. And uh, you have to uh, take into account the fact that it can be uh, done in uh, different ways. So you have to multiply it by n choose r. And you might remember that n choose r. Now this is something that uh, people often forget. So if you toss a coin uh, twice, uh, then it is possible, and you're looking at what is the probability that uh, one time you will get a head, and that means other time you get a tail. So it could be the first time you get head, or it could be the second time you get head. So it actually can happen in two different ways. So you have to count the ways in which uh, this could happen. And there's another notation for it. N choose R. Now which ones uh, you have used before? How about th this one or this one? It's the first one. First one? And this one? What high school. So people also use this. And of course you should recall that yeah, that is equal to n factorial divided by r factorial and n minus r factorial. So this is your uh, binomial uh, distribution. Okay, now let us uh, come to uh, Poisson distribution. Oh, incidentally, uh, uh, we have a test coming up soon, and I just checked my schedule, and it's supposed to be a week from today. So uh, we could do that. So we are actually on track uh, in terms of uh, the material. Uh, however, I think I should probably let you work on a, um, a detailed uh, homework assignment. So let us do this. So I will uh, have a homework assignment available today, so about 6 o'clock, and this will be due, uh, let us make it due uh, on uh, Wednesday next week. Wednesday. Right. And so I will collect it electronically, and, uh, and the test, instead of uh, this coming Thursday, we will move it to Tuesday. So basically the idea is that uh, maybe you want on Thursday, maybe there's something maybe you want to discuss. Uh, so, so the homework is going to be due on Wednesday. Thursday, we possibly may discuss something about the homework. And on Tuesday after that, we will have the first test. So we are going to move our test to the next lecture, even though in terms of uh, lectures, we are basically on schedule. Um, Okay, any uh, questions so far? How many MBA terms do we have? Uh, there will be two. So there will be two, which is somewhat different from the uh, online version of the class where we have uh, one midterm. So um, which is better, one midterm or two? Uh, two, uh, two is, uh, in a way, is uh, better because then uh, uh, for each test, you have to prepare less. But on the other hand, of course, there's a trade-off that you have more tests. So it probably doesn't matter that much. So the test is the following Tuesday, not this coming Tuesday? Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, so the test was scheduled on uh, Tuesday next week. It was supposed to be in September 30th, so it will be October 4th, I guess. Right, it will be October 4th. October 4th. October 4th. October 4th. So we, will, we are going to move yeah. it to uh, following Tuesday. Yeah, which is October 4th. So, okay, so let's look at the Poisson distribution.